Hey everyone, here's my VT VM IM11 from Heathkit. Arrived today, wonderful surprise. Took it apart, obviously I didn't plug it in, because uh, that would be stupid. Uh, took it apart, uh, checked the condition. I pulled out the tubes, uh, ran them on the uh, Sentry tube tester. They tested over uh, 92 for whatever that is, but there are no shorts, no leaks. Uh, the emission seemed good. I uh, got a copy of the heat kit manual, which also included the original uh, calibration. So I went through and did the original calibration that, that's recommended. I figured there's no burn in period for the tubes. Uh, they've been sufficiently burned in. Found this original Montgomery Ward battery in the unit. It was still in there. I've since replaced it, obviously, but I thought that was pretty cool because this battery's got to be like, I don't know, maybe 40, 50 years old. Probably one of theirs from, from the 60s. It's clearly not original to the unit, but, uh, or maybe, one never knows. Anyway, I got it with two probes. Here's a uh, AC and Ohm's probe with uh, alligator clips. The other probe is the original... Uh, AC DC probe with the one mega ohm resistor built into the probe. There's there's a little bit of things loose in the probe I'm going to take a look at it. If you wiggle it, 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 it distorts things um, Amongst the things that were made to be checked besides uh, mechanical zero Which is the zero in the off position Had to be set <laughs> relatively easy and um, I'm turning it on it'll come back up In turning it on, there's a um, um, three potentiometers in the back. Bring the zero just right, oh, right there. There's a couple potentiometers in the back that are used for uh, AC DC balance and uh, the AC balance, AC calibrate, and DC calibrate. And one of the things that you're supposed to balance is the ability to go from AC to DC with uh, little or no deflection. And I've I got that set up pretty good. The other thing is uh, DC to DC. I got a, a, a maybe the slightest bump. I don't. I don't think so. This is DC plus to DC minus. I expect it to bump a little, but as long as it returns back to its original setting, and of course the AC calibration, which I literally connected the thing to uh, in in to mains with my fluke meter. <clears throat> and calibrated that. I'm not going to hold the camera while I do that. Um, that would be kind of difficult. But if I set it to ohms, I've set that up too. And ohms changes somewhat, and you could you could uh, uh, hold the clips together and set zero. But you can see it's at it's at infinity, or roughly close. And I got these probes plugged in. I just push them together, and you see it comes right down to zero. That's absolutely perfect. There's a couple other tests I want to do. I've taken apart the probe that has the one mega ohm resistor for DC and cleaned up all the pieces and uh, use a little deoxid magic. And I'm reading 1.146. I do want to check the, um, the tolerance since it's in and around 10%. 